So, uh, you may remember a recent episode of uh, Speed Hero, the beginning of vlogging. We're doing some demonstration or test articles to see how good I am at vlogging. Uh, so I figured I'd give it a let's play attitude since, you know, I really have a whole bunch of nothing to show you guys. Uh, just the other night we had a bit of street legal redline racing with Jason. He made it all the way to the ROC and it got to the very end and, and crashed and lost the race. Let's see where we can get tonight. How's that? Um, so we're going to whip out our ever so trusty old copy of street legal redline racing. Uh, it's been kicking around for a long time. It's actually a pretty old game. Uh, it started out originally as Street Legal, um, and eventually moved on to a second, a second game. Uh, the original was pretty breakthrough at the time. I mean, this was this was back. This is I don't know. I want to say almost ten years ago now, where you could remove all the panels individually, uh, take bits off the car, replace them, and uh, eventually a couple of people opened it up and cracked it a little bit and started being able to put in your own parts uh, that you modeled yourself using 3D, stu 3D Studio Max. I jumped on that little, uh, little. I would say it's a little bandwagon, a small one, uh, back then, and kind of got into it. Uh, this, this copy is a bit modded, and you can actually download it for free at streetlegalmods.com or GOM, GOM, G -O -M, Team Racing. Uh, they provide the game for free now. It's it's been modified many times. So let's start our career here. We got butts, race guy, and rape the earth. We want butts. That's the one we're working on right now. Um, as you recognize, this is uh, Jason's car from the other night. Uh, a little bit beat up. I've been practicing with it a little bit. Um, you can see there's a little bit of scarring and damage here on the fender and on the the bumper. Um, we can actually repaint those guys. Let's get some paint on there. Let's pick a new color. Because, you know, this is pretty drab. Um, I mean, this is a pretty riced out piece of garbage. Uh, so let's get some ultra crazy blue going on here. Now you'll notice I have to paint each panel individually. That's because each one of those panels, including this mirror here, or this window, is completely removable and editable. And I can, you know, if I really want, we can make these some fender mirrors. But that's for another time and another day. Um, let's throw this fender on, or uh, paint these fenders, and continue on here. I think we've got everything. Oh, I've got my Japanese plates on there, and I've got my Corvette wheels that, if you take a look here, i got a little bit too much poke. Just a bit too much. A little bit Mexico. Uh, no offense. My apologies. This one fits well. Eh, who cares? Alright, so basically, if we take a look at the set up this car. We actually have 2,125 pounds. Pretty lightweight. And we got a weight balance of 53% in the front and 46 in the rear. And we're looking at 816 horse and you know it's it's not a real Honda. It doesn't actually call itself a Honda in the game but it definitely it definitely reflects it in the uh, the specifications when we're looking at 816 horse but only 574 foot-pounds of torque. Uh, it's actually a, almost a 3 liter 4 cylinder which I mean, uh, the closest thing I can think of is a uh, 2.6 um, inline 4 out of a Mitsubishi. A 4G54 is the biggest 4-cylinder I can think of, but I'm sure there's bigger. Somebody somebody probably knows of some larger ones. Um, so I was trying this a little bit earlier, and my tires wore down to about 76%. Uh, uh, that, was, that was on the rear. I switched them up for the final race. Uh, these are actually at 59, but let's see if we can play through this, and we'll grab some new tires here. As you can see, you can take them right off and sell them off. Oh, I got $748 for my used tires. That's a little bit unrealistic. I'll be honest there. Um, let's grab some new tires. We've got some 225, 25R19 and a soft compound. Because, you know, everybody knows that um, Corvette wheels, Corvette blades actually come in 19, 19 inches. Or 19 by 11. <laughs> a little bit uh, off on that as well. Um, yeah, we've, got our, we've, we've solved our Red Bull can issue. If you noticed in the first video, we actually mentioned the missing Red Bull cans. Um, you know, gotta gotta represent. Even though I, I personally drink Arizona iced tea, I don't, don't waste your money on those energy drinks. Ninety nine cents a can, and you get some yummy red apple. Um, oh, we don't want to do a test run. We want to we want to cheat here. Uh, one of the cheats you can grab uh, L E T M E R O C. So let me rock. 
Uh, normally, what you'd actually have to do is go through uh, this, you know, you have to race everybody on the streets, and then you have to build a car that has a certain amount of prestige, and then you got to save up a hundred grand and the max you can bring some spare parts but it's got to be about less than two thousand pounds uh so and you have a certain only a certain amount of time to do it you win this this way you're this is what you're going for uh they use a picture and i think this is because it's an edited version of the game the original game didn't use this photo but it's of a shelby cobra um uh the one uh, what am i thinking of Terrible movie. Well, it wasn't too bad, but Nicolas Cage. Anyways, uh, Eleanor. They use a picture of Eleanor, and the, actually the game, the game, the Prime DLH 500 is modeled closely after it. Uh, and you win that when you when you win the Race of Champions. Now, surprisingly, uh, the Race of Champions is fairly difficult. Uh, if not for, uh, you know, it's it's pretty simple, and the AI is pretty simple, and the cars are pretty simple. It's actually about getting the right setup, and that's mainly because the actual uh, <laughs> the actual handling of the car is pretty darn difficult. Um, I actually have some pneumatic shocks in this. Uh, basically, you can uh, raise and lower. I've got a button on the keyboard uh, when I'm driving around in, the, in a regular situation that I can raise and lower the suspension. Um, I'm gonna buy a couple more spare tires. That'll just keep us. That'll just keep us on the road later on when we run run amok. Uh, so we've got eight spare tires. That should be enough for for us to run around ROC. Um, I fiddle around with the setups on these uh, enough now that uh, I've found a fairly reliable, um, fairly reliable motor set that's pretty quick. I think it. Uh, I think currently the trans in six gear maxes out at 360 kilometers an hour, and you do hit that on the track, so it's it's pretty good. Uh, the track is a bit of a. The track is a bit of a uh, rip off of. Uh, Bathurst in Australia. Uh, so using every, using a cheat, it reminds you that you're a loser. Uh, here we are. I'm playing with a riced out Honda, and the game is telling me I'm a loser. Uh, <laughs> uh, if you remember my article about Mark III Supras, there's quite a few people that are pretty upset about that. So uh, we'll keep that we we'll keep that uh, hate going on. So we love our haters. Uh, yeah. Uh, so we've got our setup. Uh, this is this is the pit. Um, you can uh, you can check everything. Uh, we'll strip the body. We'll take a look at the take a look at the wheels and the suspension. Uh, dual wishbone in the rear. Um, fairly simple. We got CV axles with uh, we got some CV axles with coil over uh, coil. Yeah, essentially a coil over. It's not a traditional fully adjustable, but you know, uh, because due, uh, due to my modified game settings, I have full adjustment over everything, including the spring rates if I if I need to, um, and tire pressures. And actually, I have special suspension in here that I uh, you're not supposed to have in the game, but I, I I've I've had it added in here, uh, so I have adjustable camber and uh, tow and uh, spacer as well. Um, so there's really no ex no excuse for my really terrible fitment. Uh, the motor here we can see is uh, is a turbo four cylinder in a you know transverse style. We've got a turbocharger. Uh, I believe we're running uh, we're running 1.29 bar. I found it actually dropped horsepower when uh, when going a little bit higher than that. So um, we've got a fully tunable trans. Um, I think we've got a, a, a fully locked uh, limited slip differential, and uh, I've got about 64% to the rear wheels. Um, Nothing too crazy, but they are Bilstein shocks, um, and the motor is just kind of meant to look like a general front-wheel drive motor. Um, normally, it doesn't come with this intercooler um, uh, radiator setup, but that was that's just kind of visual add-on. It's not it's not actually required. It's just nice to have. Uh, and a terrible, terrible cone filter. I apologize for the cone filter. Uh, I, I just I don't like them. Anyways, uh, so let's throw the body back on here. Um, interior wise we've got a basic race seat um, with a uh, leopard, leopard or tiger skin uh, steering wheel and our passengers are have a comfortable seat on some NOS bottles uh, <laughs> it's, it's a little silly but whatever let's get let's get into this so let's close that door up and we'll jump into our first race here uh, this is the qualifying round of, of the ROC so we'll see how we do.
Now I'm kind of a little bit discomforted comforted with this camera in my way, but we'll go for it. So we've got some people cheering us, so you can hear my blow-off valve. The, the, the sounds are atrocious in this game. Uh, because this is pretty unrealistic, we're going to start in fourth. Skip all that. So the early, the early competition is pretty simple. As you can tell, my setup's pretty decent at this point. Good tires helps. The steering is a little bit off on the keyboard. You can hear me clicking around there. Uh, the, uh, the predictability of the grip is a big issue. Sometimes the car will have a ton of it, sometimes it won't. And you, kind of have to understand. It's You can't really apply any basic logic to it. You just got to hope. Uh, it's constantly on the ragged edge of rolling over. It's just the tires that I have. So, pretty simple. Running, uh, that's it. It's just a, a copy of Bathurst. You know, some nice straight lines up the hill and uh, some nice straight lines. That's actually my fastest lap I've ever run. 53.977. So, pretty good for a first run. Uh, it, it is it is very similar to Bathurst. Um, you climb the hill, uh, or you, you head down a straightaway, and then you climb up a complicated hill, and then back down the other side, and uh, down a straightaway again to the finish. Um, so here we are back again. <laughs> now that my my battery on my phone isn't dead, uh, I am recording with us with my phone. Let's get a little bit better adjustment on here. Uh, my apologies again. I'm learning how to vlog here. Doing our best. To um, so yeah, let's jump back into the race here. Uh, oh, let's walk in our view. And we want to repair everything. Nice thing about the ROC is it does fix everything for free for us. So that first run ate up about 5% of the front tires and 3% of the rear. Well, we uh, ate up 7% on that one. Well, I guess there's more, uh, more harder turns on that side. Anyways, let's jump back in here. Race number two uh, of our first round. There's four rounds. Uh, and you want to work, way, work your way up. Uh, it's best of three for each round. Uh, we got some people cheering us. Many of them repeat. I assume it's triplets and quadruplets. Who are uh, into street racing in the desert. Uh, way too fast and furious. I just have to point that out. This is this is the race of champions. Like... Like, I just gotta worry about Johnny Tran at this point. Make sure that, uh, you know, I, I'm not racing against an S2K with 30, uh, S2000 with 30 grand of stuff in it. Oh, a little off track there. Some danger. Gotta watch ourselves. Yeah, we're going along okay here. Pretty simple. Oh, a little wide. Oh, some danger. Like I said, the handling's pretty unpredictable on these things. But these first opponents have a lot of a lot of give. The danger comes a little bit later. And the in uh, the final guy, who's uh, oddly enough, his cha his name changes every every single event. You know, it's a little he's a different guy each time. Fifty three nine zero two. How is that? That was a terrible run, and it was still my fastest yet. Odd, so odd. That's actually the fastest run I've ever run. Uh, there's so much room for improvement there. It's it's not even funny. Um, <laughs> after having played this for years. So silly. Uh, so what are we looking at? 87% on the front, 90 on the the front left, 95, and 93. No, we're gonna we're gonna swap um, these two guys. We'll re we'll reuse them. They're not dead yet. But we'll get it, we'll pull them out and rotate them a bit. That should be good. And we fixed our our car for free. Our fitment's still looking like like garbage, and our <laughs> our. Uh, Red Bull cans are a hundred percent intact, ready to go. You know, like we're we're pretty excited, I guess. Uh, jump into this is actually moving on to the next round. So we're against Leo Scott. Looks like he's got an Einwagen. The Einwagen is a uh, is a play on the Golf Mark Three or uh, Mark uh, Mark Three. Uh, yet to still provide any sort of. Any sort of challenge. Now the motor I'm using is actually uh, basically a stock motor you can get in the game. Um, some minor tweaks and boost and a little bit of nitrous and you can get away. Uh, the transmission is actually a fat gun, fat gun transmission which you can find in the uh, 
Um, it's not even in the download section. It's just it's just in the game already uh, with a center differential add-on, so you can make a full wheel drive. Um, as you saw earlier, uh, I did tune it, but it is not. It doesn't come originally with the car. You gotta you kind of gotta download that. Um, the motor is not the original for the car either. It's a Shim Shimbitsu motor, uh, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's, a, it's actually a crate engine you can find in the engine kit section. Uh, nice thing is it's pretty reliable. You keep the you keep the RPM down below uh, 7,500 RPM, and it doesn't it doesn't kill itself under a, under a bar and a quarter of boost. Uh, pretty simple stuff. The tires are actually uh, a non aftermarket tire. Um, it's a uh, it's just an original original 19 inch. It's actually the skinnier of the two 19 inch soft uh, soft compounds. Let's take a look again here. We're at 85 percent. We're at 85 percent, uh, 91 and 89. Still pretty good. We can probably push our way through here. It looks like, it looks like we overbought on tires a little bit there. Nothing too terrible. Uh, this is our second run of the second round, so second second competitor. His car is looking a little bit slow. He's not running a hood because he's, I guess, gangster. This is actually the first time I've ever seen the game automatically roll down the windows. I've, I've never seen that. It must be a part of an aftermarket add-on. Um, and still flying along here, jumping and bumping and grumping and doing what, doing our little things. Uh, We'll get in our braking zone. We don't have to. We're not. We're not too. Yeah, look at that. Look at that. Just two wheeling all the time. But it's just ultra grippy tires and a super high roll center for, you know, what is essentially a Miata with no roof. Uh, Miatas. I mean, that's that's one of the biggest uh, killing factors is that they're designed with such a low roll center that they're, they're such good handling cars. You know, that's the way you'll see a lot of them at autocrosses and stuff. It's funny how you know I shouldn't be making any sort of comparisons to real life. Uh, based on this game because it's nowhere near it, <laughs> but I rather enjoyed. I enjoyed the customiza customization or the, uh, the ability to just kind of fiddle and tune each little bit, even if it's inaccurate or, or silly. It's just it's just fun to to have the have that sort of build effect, you know, uh, the ability to wrench and play without uh, the consequences, especially financially, of owning a real car, <laughs> uh, which I do own uh, plenty of, but. We're not really focusing on that day today. They're very broken, and I just can't afford to fix them right now. Uh, so, yeah, we're looking pretty good. 83 at the front, 88 in the back, 80% uh, there, 83. We do have the opportunity to change them up, so let's ditch these and throw some fresh guys on for this next run. I think we're moving actually on to the semifinals. Um, so third last guy here. Did I steal a wheel? Oh, I stole a wheel, whole wheel. My apologies. And that's endlessly rotating for some reason. That's a bad sign. Maybe the game's glitching. Uh, it's a really common problem for this game just to glitch out and die and cause fires. I'll be surprised if we make it through this whole ROC run, actually, uh, without it crashing. So we're on to John Johnson. A uh, very creative name. Uh, not that Butts is any better. He's also driving a Dahun. Oh, it looks like my controls are messed up. And we're endlessly turning right, so this might uh, be no good. Yeah, looks like we're, st oh sorry, turning left endlessly. Yep, and I can't deal with that. It's automatically steering left. We'll give up on that race. Hopefully that we can cure this issue before... Nope, no, it's stuck steering left for some reason. Odd. Oh, it's somehow fixed itself. Do we still have a fender after that incident? Yeah, it was there, it was just smashed away. Well, luckily, luckily enough, we can do another run, but we're down one. Edited, you know, it's best two or three, so we're down one. So I've got to, I have to win essentially the next two to continue on here. I'm not sure why the game was stuck there. That was really odd. Let's get up in fourth gear. Um, and for some reason, his sunroof is rolled back. I don't, I don't quite understand that. So I believe the origins of this game are actually Hungarian. Uh, it's made by a company called Invictus. It was released by Activision as sort of... Uh, I guess it was their one of their introductions to game making. 
um, and it's pretty you know it's pretty intuitive in in some senses that you know the customize uh, the customizability of it. Um, if you take a look at some of the the photos online, uh, the, the the sheer number of people that are following along with it have, have really brought up the game, especially with all the aftermarket add-on cars. Um, I don't generally use them for the ROC only because uh, they're such higher in graphical demand that you lose a lot of frame rate with them. But they're pretty they're pretty fun to build up as stance shots, and there's uh, there's endless amounts of add-on maps, uh, you know from. Sukuba, oh, it's my fastest one yet, uh, 53841. So we're improving in times here. Um, uh, from Sukuba all the way through to uh, uh, back roads of Sweden and interesting things like that. A lot of people have made put a lot of time and effort into into doing add-ons for the for this. Um, a lot of people also do just basic add-ons like. Uh, for example, these Corvette wheels are, are an add-on, and the nice thing is they're just the wheel. Like it's nothing else. Like if you're if you're looking just to model something small for the afternoon and just you know want a small little project, it's pretty simple. You just you just build it up in in 3D Studio Max or whatever whatever your basic uh, modeling program is. I do I actually use SolidWorks at times. Um, the graphic you know the graphic output's a little excessive, but uh, it does the job. Um, you throw it into 3D Studio Max, and there's actually a uh, SCX is the file code, like .SCX. You, there's a, um, a plugin for 3D Studio Max 5 and 5.1, and I think there's even one for 3D Studio Max 9, but I haven't had a chance to use it. Uh, and it's just a SCX plugin that you can export with. Uh, you'll set your materials in your 3D program. Uh, so if you want it to be Chrome, where somebody's made these dra uh, a basic drab uh, raw aluminum. Uh, I don't know if they've done a great job of it, but and even the original shape of the wheel is kind of only resembles a uh, <laughs> a, uh, a blade from uh, Corvette, but eh, it's still pretty close. Um, Maybe yeah, just export it and you uh, open it up in the game, and if it takes a little bit, of sometimes fiddling around with some uh, files and stuff afterwards, uh, you'll have to build. Um, you can either replace original files. Which is okay to do, but there's actually is the opportunity to add, to do a full complete add-on where um, it's it's a it's a setup file that comes with with the uh, with with whatever content the user has created or yourself, and it adds itself onto the onto the game. It's pretty it's pretty simple to set up. There's some online instructions, uh, and it's just a bit of messing around with some codes and some notepads. Nothing you don't need any special program for it. Um, uh, actually, no. I think you do. You'll need to res decode and decode, but they're 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 programs that are given away for free. Uh, again, there, there's some simple tutorials that are, that take only about a couple minutes. Um, so let's continue on here. Are we on to the final guy here? I think we're just buzzing along through this. Um, no, we're still on John Johnson. This is the last race, so I got to win this one to move on to the uh, little bit of pressure here, a little bit of tension. Uh, dude in the sweater is just chilling out. Oh, and there's his twin brothers and a couple more of his multi multi trim twin you know, brothers and potentially sisters who dress like brothers. You know, I mean, you don't want to be left out, right? Um, so bombing along, give it a go. Nothing super special or new. Pretty simple. We'll get our brakes on. Shift it down to fourth. Try not to roll it. Try to stay on the track here. A little bit of squirreliness. Going good. Oh, danger. So much danger. Find if you get if you get up on two wheels like that, it's best to throttle and it'll break the... nice thing is it's uh, got a rear wheel bias. Most of the percentage of the power to the rear, so it'll actually, it'll actually spin the rear wheels out from underneath the car. Oddly enough, there's a video of me doing the exact same thing in my actual race car. Oh wow, look at that. We're down to even a faster time. A 53.337. Uh, I think that's the fastest time. Yeah, well, if you know, it is the fastest time I've ever run in this game. So this uh this setup just keeps getting better and better and more rewarding. So we've won that. We're now moved on to the uh the final race against the final guy. Uh, and hopefully we'll be get a chance to see the prime DLH. Um I don't I won't keep my fingers crossed though. This game's pretty sketchy and so we've done 86. We have the opportunity to throw some fresh tires in here. I know our tires are probably in the right spot for some good lap times, as you can see, but uh, we'll just make sure we run some consistent ones instead. Um, uh, so the car's fully repaired at this point. Uh, there's some paint damage you can see from uh, from that crumpled fender and 
from crumpling the bumper so many times. I originally did have a front right plate on here, I believe, before, uh, but it's fallen off at this point. And things that fall off just get lost in the track. They're gone forever. You, you, know, you can't even just go pick them up. They'll, they'll be sitting there. You, you can see them, but uh, they'll be gone forever. Um, I actually did a couple runs before starting the video, and I ended up hitting... <laughs> Hitting a pole on one of the jumps, I, I landed in it, just jut, jutted out to the right, uh, and the motor just just flew out of the car. It was gone forever. I had to build the whole thing again, so uh, <laughs> pretty frustrating. Uh, so anyways, we move on to the final guy. And what basically uh, each car in this game is is not licensed. Uh, they were you know, I don't I don't think a Hungarian uh, video game team was too uh, too rich at that point to grab some licensing from Honda, BMW, Nissan. Uh, Volkswagen, Mitsubishi, uh, Subaru, uh, Ford, and Chevrolet. Uh, I'm sure there's some some other ones. I think there might even be a Dodge at the. Uh, yeah, there's a Dodge. There's a pick. There's a big pickup that would be a Dodge, um, and some older uh, hot rods. Uh, so they just kind of made them look close and just like that sort of Gran Gran Turismo esque. Uh, <laughs> Gran Turismo-esque kind of thing, got them close to a couple of cars, you know, make them look similar to a few different vehicles so that, you know, everybody has a little bit of relatability to it. Um, but yeah, so let's jump into this last one. Uh, and the opponent is driving a BMW, and it's it's considered, I know, it's it's kind of, when the game, when Redline Racing first came out, it was one of the first modifications was this hack in order to get his car so that you could compete with him uh, so in this in this this particular race, he's missed as David Butterfly. Uh, danger. And there's his BMW, a two-tone. Uh, now, my car should be much faster on acceleration. The, uh, the, the biggest difficulty is keeping up with him in the corners through the mountains. Uh, he's pretty tough in there. Oh, almost stalled there. Interesting enough. So we're up into sixth gear. We're cruising along. Almost at max speed. We get our braking down. Down to fourth gear, down into the third. And if you keep a little eye on the map in the bottom left corner, I don't know if you can see it based on the resolution, but he's catching up pretty quick down there. Uh, his cornering abilities are much greater than mine. As you can see, the grip is pretty unpredictable. I'm really not pushing it any faster than the last runs. Um, but, uh, Nice thing about my car here is that it's got a little bit more uh, get up and go on these straightaways. So it looks like we've got the first race, even though I'm missing a mirror and I think crunched my fender in from that hit. Yeah, terrible run at 55 seconds. But he should come zooming up beside me on the left here if he ever finishes. <clears throat> looks like he crashed on that, which is actually something that'll happen. Um, and the, one of the glitches about this is uh, if you and the and your competitor crash, you just kind of sit on the mountain for a while until one of you gives up. Eventually, the computer will give up, but uh, it takes a while. So we've got a smashed-in fender, uh, smashed-up front bumper, and a folded mirror. Luckily, we ca capped that. Um, they're not supposed to fold in, but luckily, uh, the game itself actually. When you crash into something, it folds the polygons, and it's, that's something that was pretty uh, pretty revolutionary at this time as well. It actually adjusts the shape of the 3D model based on the amount of impact and where you hit it. Um, it's not pre-programmed damage, but it actually just simulates what is supposed to happen. Um, I can bang it out with the click of a button nicely. Um, so we're fixed up. We're looking at 95% on that tire, 98 on that one. But uh, yeah, in relation to many modern games, there's still nothing that really I can think of, or no, very few games anyways, I guess, that uses that type of damage modeling, which is pretty impressive. Many times, especially in racing games, they use a, uh, a predetermined damage. Um, even in even games like Forza and stuff, they use many levels at least, uh, in, in relation to old games where it was you know pretty obvious. Um, but it, still, in most new games, it is, it is just different levels of pre-made damage. So this is our last race. We stall out on the first there. So we're racing along. 
Oh, getting a little sketchy. Getting a little sketchy. Now it looks like he's actually. Oh, he's keeping up just behind me here. Now this just shows the lack of skill from. Oh my god. Oh. There he is. And my sheer horsepower wins the race. And oh, he's pulling up on me still a little bit here. Pulling up a little still. And there it is. We've won. We've won the ROC. So now you've seen what it like, likes to win the ROC. He was just behind me there. Wow. Zooming past me as uh, as we cross the finish line. Uh, so congratulations, you won the race of champions. And the game has crashed. Awesome. Just awesome.